Although this is the most boring vlog in the world, should I do the most boring um, haul that I got from the shops just then? Boring day has got more boring. This task is so boring. How are you finding the most boring vlog in the world? Hi, good morning. Come and spend the most boring day in the entire world with me, Holly. If you're new here, thanks for joining. I appreciate that. If you're not, well, you probably are new here because there's about 500 of you. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another one. I would say let's start with a bang, but we're clearly not starting with a bang because we're about to have the most boring day in the world. I actually sometimes quite like watching people's boring day vlogs. I find them very peaceful. Like when I watch YouTube, I'm normally doing something else as well. Like I'm scrolling through TikTok, but it's just background noise. Thank you for having me as your background noise. Let's go and kick off the most boring day in the world. There is nothing I hate more than unpacking. Unpacking genuinely fills me with, with rage. <laughs> I don't know why. I chose to go on the holiday, I've had the nice times. It feels like a holiday hangover. The fun's been had and now I'm stuck here with my shit, putting a wash on, folding my clothes away. Where's the fun in that? I just want to, I just want to, ow, I just want it to go, oh. Honestly, if there was, you know like you can like, there's like, if there was a service and I could pay someone to come round and unpack this for me, I'd do it. And I think I'd justify up to £50 because I know how much this is annoying me. Does anyone ever want to come round and unpack for me because you're welcome to, babe? These pads are just haunting me. Why are they right in front of the frame? I presume everyone just does a sniff test, don't they? Ooh. How nice is this Burberry skirt? This is a weird one actually. So there's this girl on Vintage, right? Well, no, she's kind of, she's an influencer, but she also owns her own business. I'm not gonna name her because this just feels really embarrassing. I love all of her clothes and she loves Vintage. And I like check her Vintage, see if she's put anything new up. But she's not like a Vintage like seller. She's just a girl and puts her clothes on there. I bought this skirt from her, like a Vintage Burberry wraparound skirt that she got altered. And I also bought like a top from her as well. And sometimes I worry if she ever came across my videos and saw that I'm just like buying her wardrobe after her that she's gonna think I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> Which probably to some extent I am because I am just trying to dress like her. I bought so much gym stuff considering I went to the gym twice, once for 20 minutes. Someone did come up to me and she was like, oh you're an instructor here. You have just made my entire week that you think I'm a fitness instructor. This is why I'm in my fashion era skirt. These are not in my fashion era. These are my aubergine pyjama bottoms. I packed so many pants. Honestly, I could have pissed myself every like three hours on holiday and I still would have been fine. Oh my God, this is another top from that girl. I was just eat about. Do you see what I mean? Because I'm buying quite like distinct items from her. So I feel like she would recognize that I'm just copying her. I am obsessed with you. I'm just gonna say it because I think it's more embarrassing me not saying it. Her name's Jess. Jess, I love your clothes, babe. Please put some more vintage so I can buy them. More gym leggings. Did I wear them? No. Oh, I don't know why I'm holding onto these pants. These pants fucking say Care Bear on them. But they're so comfy, but they are also so grim. As the pyjama shorts, I saw... Her name's Francesca on TikTok. She was she looked so good in these when I bought them. Do you ever do that? You buy things, you're like, oh my god, this girl looks so good in it, I need to buy that. And then you suddenly remember, hang on, I don't look anything like her. Like, that is not going to look like that on me. Oh god, this task is so boring. I'm so sorry I'm putting you through this. I don't know if any of you saw my TikTok about when I went to Subdued. I bought loads of stuff and I was like, oh, I'll try it on the room, then I'll return it. I tried to do that. When I got back to Subdued, they're like, we don't accept returns. What? It was like 120 euros. So then I was panicking. I was like, fuck, I need to buy something in this shit shop. I couldn't find anything that would suit me. It's like worse than Brandy Melville in that it's very much aimed at like people that are not 29. And um, so all I could find was this skirt. This skirt costs 50 quid and it's the most see-through thing I've ever seen. You can see what I've eaten for dinner in that. Another sports top. I wear this because it says finisher for Cambridge. My family go on like sports holidays and I like them to think that I'm sporty. I only got this because I worked at the event. There was not a single bit of running involved. These are my books of choice that I didn't read. Feel the fear and do it anyway. I have actually read this before. Well, I've read half of it. This is so good. Basically, I've got this weird thing that I don't like books finishing. So I only ever read up to like three quarters because I get sad that it'll be over. Do you know what I mean? This is actually the book that made me quit my job to do TikTok full time. Then I've got this, Make Brilliant Work, Letters on Creativity innovation and success. I haven't actually read that, but I like the idea of having creativity, innovation and success. I just wish there was a way I could just get this and just go, mm, and all the ideas would be in my head. Then I got this, ADHD, figuring it out step by step. I'm all fart no poo. I can buy all the books, but will I read them? No. This would probably help me so much to understand myself. Will I do anything about that information? No. More pads. Sunglasses I bought another holiday. I just know I don't really like them. I don't know why I bought them. <gasps> These kind of go in my shorts. Fuck, I've made such a mess. We'll come back to the situation. How are you finding the most boring vlog in the world? Is it all right? Let me know in the comments. After packing, do you know what the next worst job is in the entire world? It's tidying. And look how I left my room. I can't 
can't. I think I might just go for a walk and hope that by the time I get back it will just sort itself out. Which is unlikely seeing as it's only been in the house. In other news, I've been using this Bioma Moisturising Witch Cream. Because I thought, oh my skin's really bad. But then I watched this video and it's a girl called Natalie on TikTok and she does all things like skincare. And she basically said in the video, it was like a really harsh truth one. She was like, are you actually washing your face when you cleanse it? Or are you just like rubbing dirt around your face? There's no point when you clean your face, just doing it for like 20 seconds and then thinking you're done. Like, if you actually want to do a cleanse, you need to be at least rubbing it in for like a minute. I thought, fuck. I never do that. I'm just like boom, boom, boom and done. And ever since I've actually started properly cleansing my face, like actually like doing two proper full cleanses, my skin's been so much better. Who knew you just had to wash your face? Now I'm not going to put any makeup on because I'm just going for a walk. It's only you guys that are going to see me and I feel like you're pretty used to me looking like this. I need to put some sun cream on. I could just risk it and not wear sun cream, can I? No. No, but I could. What if I wear a cap? I think that's a happy medium. I'm just gonna put a cap on, I'm sorry. Another grim girl thing that I've really got into at the minute is brushing my hair. I used to just not really do that. <laughs> I kind of thought, oh, it looks all right, I'll just leave it. But I've realized if you actually brush your hair, it doesn't look knotty anymore. Who fucking you? Not me. <sighs> I'm just waiting to join. Let's go there and accept it today, we like, no. Well, I can't join this meeting. No one's letting me in. I just always think I look a bit like I'm in a scam. Like, look at my background. I've just got, like, nothing going on on the wall. Like, I think it does look like I'm a bit of a scammer. Like, it looks like I'm being held hostage somewhere. I really need to put some art on the wall, but I just don't know what to put art, so I just haven't got around to it. Okay, although this is the most boring vlog in the world, that was such an interesting call. I'm doing a shoot, which I cannot believe, and it's a load of other creators, but they're not creators. They're, like, big time. They're, like, on, like, Love Island and shit. I was looking at the talent list, and there's all these big people, and then there's little me in the bottom corner and they've all got like a professional photo and then mine's a selfie that I took in, on a holiday and I'm just like how have I ended up here like this makes no sense to me like they're like okay shoot time is this this is when the talent come on talent what I'm absolutely baffled honestly I don't know how the hell this is all happening to me this just seems absolutely ridiculous I feel ridiculous the fact that I'm even vlogging I tried to start a vlog when I was at uni and I called it Holly's Little Things and I tried to do like a get ready with me or something and then I posted it obviously like four people watched it people at uni found it and I was at work and then suddenly I got messaged with my friend like Holly you need to quickly try and get rid of your YouTube channel because the boys oh my phone's ringing the boys had all um oh hang on let me finish this story I forgot this call I'm in a bit of a dilemma because I know I was telling you a story but I can't remember what it was. I feel like I was at the pinnacle point of the story as well and it's just gone. I'll have to insert it so I've actually completely forgot what I was talking about. I've got a wardrobe full of jumpers but the one that I cannot help but always go back to is this one I got for £8 off eBay. My dad was like, is Dolly cool? Mind your own business, babe. Of course it is, I'm wearing it. This vlog, it was meant to be the most boring day ever but it's really about to heat up when you see my mega smoothie that I make. Where can I put you? Put you in the air fryer. There's this um, influencer, I think she's called Sophie. Maybe I'll, I'll put her on this chopping board. She made the smoothie and I was like, that looks well nice. So I made the smoothie and ever since, I'm a smoothie queen. I have this thing, whenever I need to do something, I know I need to stand still for a bit to make a smoothie. It makes me need a wee uncontrollably. I didn't need one two seconds ago. You saw me walking fine. Now, wait one sec, now I need to go. I'm nearly done. Okay, I'm back. We has been done. Should I do the most boring haul that I got from the shops just then? So I got some strawberries, two pounds. I got a four bean salad. I got some real scrumptious strawberry yo-yo bear things. Hummus. And then I got some almond milk. That is such a like granola mum shop. Right, okay, smoothie time. So these are the things that go into my mega smoothie. We've got almond milk dates. I do need not these ones. You need like beef and jewel dates but they're a fiver for like 10 and I just can't justify it. So we've got little puny dates for now. Little pruny dates for now. Cacao powder. First up I'm gonna put in the dates. I normally put in like four of these. Consume within 10 days of opening. Yeah this one's fine. Oh, the texture of this is making me cringe. These are so sticky. Now, we're going to put in peanut butter. Whoa, isn't that good? Anyway, a scoop of this is going right in there. Me and Rory go through a normal sized peanut butter once a week. I bought this two weeks ago. We're really hoofing our way through. Okay, 
a heaped tablespoon of peanut butter, a little bit more for luck. Uh, I think a little bit more, I think that was quite as heaped as I first imagined. Cacao nibs. Now I haven't got many of these, so I'm going to also top it up with a little bit of um, cacao powder. A little bit of cacao powder. Oh, fuck, that was a lot of cacao powder. This is looking pathetic. Oh, it's the banana. That's what I forgot. And as I say, this is not looking like a meal at this point. Rory is eating my frozen banana. Oh, I'm going to kill him. Is he all right? For fuck's sake. I'm going to have to call him. I'm pissed off. This is all going to have to go to a halt now because Rory is eating my banana. I texted Rory and I said, Did you eat my frozen banana? Then I did a thing on my Instagram and I was like, What would you do if you found out that your housemate ate your banana? Would you change the locks and re download Hinge or would you just go and buy another? And then he texted me back, like, I didn't. It's in the bottom of the freezer. Oh. I've just made a big accusation. Only reason I made that big accusation is because I'm unaware. Frozen bananas. In. This is crucial. You must freeze your bananas, otherwise, just don't even bother. Okay, now we put in almond milk, and then we're gonna whiz that shit off. I'll be back and I'll show you how nice it is. Well, nice. Boring day has got more boring. My brother's just messaged me. He's traveling at the minute. He's like, oh, I've got all these pictures of me canoeing. Can you download them all and export them? Yeah, you just think, can you fuck off? He's living his best life. Look, he's even pointing at me. He's saying, you're a big fat loser at home. You do my exporting. I'm in a bit of a conundrum because I want to make something for lunch. I know really I need to go to Lidl, but I also can't be asked. So I'm thinking of like just using stuff that's in the freezer, but I am now addicted to the air fryer. I can't be asked with anything that's to go in the oven because this shit just takes too long. But look at my air fryer. So I've got a jewel. I love this thing with my whole entire life. Problem is I'm thinking of having Broccoli, corn chicken nuggets, and then some potatoes. I made this like potatoes bravas thing the other day for a brand deal. And it was actually well nice. So I was like, well, maybe I'll use the rest of the potatoes and make some more. Oh, are they like seeding or whatever it's called. Can you still eat these? Or are they kind of like giving birth to new potato matey? Basically, I've got three elements, but they all seem to need to go in the air fryer. So this isn't going to work, is it? Potatoes are not happening now, but then what am I going to have? We're gonna have corn chicken nuggets, broccoli, and some rice. I absolutely fucking nailed it. I don't know why I'm acting like you're all gonna be new to broccoli. I don't know why I think I'm this like connoisseur just for adding some spices to my broccoli. Basically, I'm gonna spray it in this sunflower oil. Salt, garlic granules, chili flakes, only a few of these though, so I'm a pussy. Pepper, is that an option here? Yep. Yeah. I'm not gonna mix it around too much because I kind of. Yeah, see, yeah, it's not really working, is it? on so i can set the time as the two things and it will time it perfectly this is boring vlog it's so boring sorry yeah so that's right for number one 40 minutes number two manual okay we'll go 15. sync <gasps> so one starts for the other stop see bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt i'll report back when we've got some stuff going on i just started eating these raisins and i couldn't be bothered to like pick one up so i'll just do like this and I thought to myself, that is so grim. It looks like I'm feeding a little goat, so I'm just eating these out of my palm. And now I'm going to put the washing out. Christ, I'm so boring. Line isn't really working. So now all that's left to do is to eat my meal. So I've just got some baked chicken nuggets, some broccoli, and some soy sauce and some rice. I've got my water. And then for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna be editing the vlog before this, tidying, then I've got body combat that I'm doing later, and then body balance. I kind of like this is probably a good time to end the vlog because nothing more exciting is gonna happen. I'm just gonna be sitting on my laptop editing. And then eventually I might tackle this, but realistically I probably won't. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the most boring vlog in the world. I will see you next week. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you could subscribe, give this a like maybe, I don't know. Thank you for watching. Love ya. Bye.